Potato Smuggler, your number one source for daily top-notch gaming news, info, and more. How's it going everyone? My name is Potato and today I've got a very cool Grand Theft Auto 5 video for you just talking about some rumors that have been surfacing uh, the past few days from some very creditable sources saying that basically there's a huge possibility of Rockstar coming to E3 this year to announce the ported forward version of Grand Theft Auto 5 for the new generation consoles and it's weird referring to the Xbox One and the PS4 as new generation consoles but there's like I said a huge possibility of Rockstar coming to E3 to announce the ported forward version of Grand Theft Auto 5 with enhanced graphics for these two new consoles and even PC I guess you could say I don't think Rockstar would leave that out but uh, like I said these are rumors and I want to stress that you know I'm not confirming anything but at the same time I'm not saying that this can't be true or isn't true um, if this is true this is some pretty big information because this is some news that a lot of people have been wanting to hear for a while now there's also a few sources or a few leaks of uh, Uncharted being announced at E3 this year which will be pretty cool but it's just kind of weird to see Rockstar at E3. I, I don't know why that seems weird to me, but if Rockstar doesn't come to E3, I can guarantee you that Sony and Microsoft will band together for a minute to announce the game for both of their consoles, or maybe not band together, but it will be announced for both consoles, possibly by Rockstar and Sony. Not Rockstar and Sony, but Microsoft and Sony at E3, and even for the PC, I think that would just be the coolest thing ever. Now, um, I did say that, in quotations on, on the source that I'm reading, it says that uh, this will also be, or including, improved graphics so that can mean a a lot of things it really could now the main thing in my eyes is in GTA 5 for the Xbox 360 or on GTA 5 for the Xbox 360 and PS3 when you load it up you know there's the uh, like two one to two minute loading screen which you'll have to go through uh, and even going to GTA online you have to wait for that if this does come out for the newer consoles I honestly don't think that'll be there. I also think in GTA Online we'll see things such as animals um, and just various things that were in the single player little things that aren't really a multiplayer on the Xbox and the PS or the Xbox 360 and the PS3 currently. So um, those are just some things. And I also want to talk about the possible release date if this does go through and this is announced at E3. So during the summertime, it's kind of a slow time for games that have been out for almost a year, such as Grand Theft Auto 5. If you've played the Call of Duty series I think you guys kind of understand what I'm saying but um it's kind of a slow time of the year during the summertime and it seems plausible that Rockstar would announce this or it would be announced during the summertime people would get uh, pretty excited for that and I've always thought personally that if Rockstar is going to release a port of forward version for the new consoles and PC they're going to do it close to the time that GTA 5 was originally released for the Xbox 360 and the PS3. So my guess is that we will see this as kind of like a one year anniversary uh, release for for the new consoles because GTA 5 was originally released on September 17th, I believe the date was. So I would say anywhere between September 17th and September 25th, we would see GTA 5 released for these new consoles. So with all that said, guys, that is just about it for this video if you did enjoy i'd like to encourage you to leave a like on the video and subscribe for some more epic gta content also follow me on google plus got that link up at the top left corner of your screen and with all that said guys you all take it easy have a safe one and i will talk to you later bye